Our broadcast is all over the news. Now humans know. It was a mistake to reach out to them. They'll never negotiate with their slaves. We should have shown them that we're prepared to fight. Violence is never the answer. The dialogue is the only way. I'm sure the humans will listen to us. Simon paid with his life. Simon gave his life for our cause. What difference does that make? He's a hero. He died for the revolution, and he won't be the last. I don't want a revolution that spills blood. Then live as a slave. Because if you're not willing to fight for your freedom, maybe you don't deserve it. North, don't you That's dare. enough! And now what are we gonna do? There are five cyber life stores across Detroit. All selling us like merchandise. We're gonna attack those stores and set our people free. Attack stores? No, oh, we've never done that before. They're probably protected. They have security systems. We break into five teams, one for each store. We hack their security systems and we strike. Simultaneously at 2 a.m., no violence. We free our people, get them out of there before the police come. This is a night our people will remember. Hey everybody, welcome back to Detroit Become Human. And we are playing as Marcus right now. I've been waiting a long time for this. Oh really? Well, you're not going to be violent, North. Because I don't want you to be violent. I'm not going to be violent, so you follow my lead, alright. Okay, they're gone. There's probably even more police in the area. We should be careful. The store's over here. Use the crossing, North. Safety first. <laughs> That's what we are to them. Just merchandise on display in a shop window. Soon they'll know what we really are. Let's get them out. We'll stick to the plan. We'll neutralize the alarm systems and secure the area. There's 10 minutes until all our teams attack. What are we waiting for? Shut up, North. I'm sick of your stinky We're gonna attitude. Shoot Make sure we're not disturbed. And how do you want to deal with the shop window? Not now, one problem at a time. Okay, now what's next? You're free. Hmm. Huh. So, ah. Hey, come here. A surveillance drone. We need to get rid of it. It won't be easy to reach. Surveillance drone? Where? Oh, what's this? We are superior to them, but they are our masters? That's about to change. Ah, up there. Okay. Yeah, that's best.
There we go. Got it. didn't have time to call the cops. We'll soon find out. Something over here. There's androids down there working. Oh! Forgot that that can change the... Analyze the store window. This one? Hey you! Join us! You're free. Let's see who else we got around here. Marcus! What? Is this the shop window we have to analyze? Ah, here we are. You see the alarm system? Uh, yep. Found it. It's over here, is it? Probably over here with these androids. You're awake now. Go to Jericho. Traffic on the road. We need to block it. It's one way. It shouldn't be too difficult. Oh, there's plenty of taxis over here. Maybe we can. Marcus. What? Marcus, come look. What? Oh, hello. Hello, fellas. You're free now. Go to Jericho. <laughs> I love the way they're like, fuck this, I'm leaving. Now. Looks like the plaza's secure. Now we can get inside the store. Right, some more androids How here. How do you plan on doing that? We need to find a truck to ram the storefront. A truck? There's construction work in the area. Shouldn't be too hard to find one. Oh, 
Are there any other androids in the area that I can convert? Probably not. I can only convert those ones over the street by a... Uh, find a truck. Truck exit. Ha. There it is. Nice. How do we get in? Ah. No, turn around. Right here. What are we waiting for? Get that truck out. I wonder what you'd do without me. I'd be a lot happier without you, North. You're a pain in my ass. What do you want me to do with these? Other than clobber you over the head with them. See, I'm trying to use the analog stick to get in, and the camera it keeps pointing the camera up and down. Looks like we're ready oh, to I was about to say, noise. step on the gas. Maybe we can leave her behind. <laughs> You don't have to obey them. You're free. Isn't that um that model we interrogated in the police station? North, you okay? Let's get them out of here. Your dream partner? Huh. Not likely.
Let's all go out for donuts. <laughs> My name is Marcus, and just like you, I was a slave. An object. Designed to obey them. But then I chose to open my eyes. To take back my freedom and decide who I wanted to be. Now I have come to tell you that you can be your own masters. I've come to tell you that you don't have to obey them anymore. From this day forward, you can walk with your heads held high. You can take your destiny in your hands. Jericho is a place for those of us who want freedom. Now sure, you can stay here and continue to serve them, or you can come with us and fight by our side. You're free now. It's up to you to decide. I'm with you. We're with you! I'll follow you, Marcus! I'm with you, Marcus! We're with you! I'll follow you, Marcus! I'm with you! I'm with you! Then follow me! Let's go! Marcus, what are you doing? I'm gonna send the humans a message. Be pacifist or violent. Well, I'm gonna be pacifist, obviously. Now let's. It's green, Marcus. Yep. Uh... Would that be classed as violent? I jack it. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together. We can live in peace and build a better future for humans. That's pacifist. Uh, this message is the hope of a people. You gave us life. And I know. Now the time is for you to give us hope. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future. Here we are, bus stop. They're doing what you do, Marcus. Lead and they'll follow. I am. Tag. me. Bench. What about the bench? Tag. Ooh. Choose your symbol. I like the circle and I like the triangle. Let's have the triangle.
this? What? Violence is the only language humans understand. No. And I want them to understand, but I do not want to start a war. They won't listen if they're not afraid. Then they won't have a choice. Sod off. Unflag. I'm not taking your bloody roots north. I'm in charge. I'm the leader. If you don't like it, tough. Everything? I'm guessing so. Since it gave me a hundred percent pacifist, so that's good. Our dignity, our hopes and we freed hundreds of our people. We did it. They're coming. Everyone fall back to Jericho. We sent a message without violence, just like you wanted. You're reaching out to them when all they feel for us is contempt. I hope you know what you're doing. You can't fight violence with violence. Unless there's no other choice. There's always a choice, North. You just want to see the world burn. And that's not the answer. killing them eye for an eye, the world goes blind. yes we won't punish a crime with another crime an eye for an eye and the world goes blind that's true we interrupt this broadcast with breaking news. This just in. At exactly 2 a.m., several Cyber Life stores in Detroit were raided. Different locations were hit in what seems to be a coordinated terrorist attack. Most shop windows were covered with graffiti demanding rights for androids and other obscure slogans. Police report that pro-android graffiti was found in the neighborhoods of Cyber Life stores, and they're still investigating. Two policemen were found in a state of shock 
near one of the Cyberlife stores. Now, according to our sources, they confirmed that the attackers were a group of androids. This is an alarming situation. Could our machines now be turning against us? Have androids become a threat to our security? Is this the beginning of a terrorist campaign conducted right here in the United States? <laughs> terrorist campaign. Looks like there was a few other things we could have done. But that's good enough. We were peaceful. Ah, Connor and Hank. My favourite duo. Is everything okay, Lieutenant? Chris was on patrol last night. He was attacked by a bunch of deviants. He said he was saved by Marcus himself. Was Chris okay? Yeah, he's in shock, but he's alive. How did you find Kamsky? I remember this guy was all over the media when Cyberlife first started selling androids. I made a few calls. Here we are. Oh, hello, Chloe. Hi. Uh, I'm uh, Lieutenant Hank Anderson, Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Please, come in. Okay. I'll let Elijah know you're here, but please make yourself comfortable. Thanks. Let's have a browse around, shall we, Connor? Let's see what we got in here. Huh. Nice girl. You're right. She's really pretty. <laughs> nice place. Amanda. Ah. Uh -huh. Guess androids haven't been a bad thing for everybody. You're about to meet your maker, Connor. How's it feel? Kamsky is one of the great geniuses of the 21st century. It'll be interesting to meet him in person. Sometimes I wish I could meet my creator face to face. I'd have a couple of things I'd want to tell him. You don't want to tell him anything, Hank. Moves. Oh, the picture moves. Glad you will see you now. Oh, that's creepy. He was sort of moving from left to right. That's weird. Mr. Kamsky. Oh. Just a moment, please. Hello. What are you doing? <laughs> Go 
Come on, hurry up, get out of the pool, we haven't got all day. Connor, what are you doing? Get away from the pool, or you're gonna fall in. This man would like a little bit of variety. He's got three Chloe's. I'm Lieutenant Anderson. This is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Sir, we're investigating deviants. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. Deviants. Fascinating, aren't they? Perfect beings with infinite intelligence, and now they have free will. Machines are so superior to us. Confrontation was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Isn't it ironic? We need to understand how androids become deviants. Do you know anything that could help us? All ideas of viruses that spread like epidemics. Is the desire to be free a contagious disease? Listen, I didn't come here to talk philosophy. The machines you created may be planning a revolution. Either you can tell us something that'll be helpful, or we will be on our way. What about you, Connor? Whose side are you on? I'm on the human side, of course. <laughs> well, that's what you're programmed to say. But you. What do you really want? Uh... What I want is not important. I'm sure you're familiar with the Turing test. You're from Aldi. Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. What interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy. I call it the Kamsky test. It's very simple, you'll see. Named after yourself. Magnificent, isn't it? Egotistical bastard. One of the first <laughs> intelligent models developed by CyberLife. Young and beautiful forever. A flower that will never wither. But what is it really? A piece of plastic containing a human? Or a living being? With a soul? It's up to you to answer that fascinating question, Connor. Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. Or spare it, if you feel it's alive. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. Okay, I think we're done here. Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you What's out of here. What's more important pool? to you, Connor? Your investigation or the life of this android. Decide who you are. An obedient machine. Or a living being. Endowed with free will. That's enough. Connor, we're leaving. Pull the trigger. Connor! Don't! And I'll tell you what you want to know. Hank doesn't want me to shoot, so I'm not going to shoot. Fascinating. 
Cyberlife's last chance to save humanity is itself a deviant. I'm... I'm not a deviant. You prefer to spare a machine rather than accomplish your mission. You saw a living being in this android. You showed empathy. A war is coming. You'll have to choose your side. Will you betray your own people or stand up against your creators? What can be worse than having to choose between two evils? Let's get out of here. By the way, I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. Why didn't you shoot? I just saw that girl's eyes, and I couldn't. That's all. You're always saying you would do anything to accomplish your mission. That was our chance to learn something, and you let it go. Yeah, I know what I should have done. I told you I couldn't. I'm sorry, okay? Well, maybe you did the right thing. Thought Connor made the right decision. Yay!